MacHeads101 here today. I'm going to be showing you about the process system in Unix. Now, this is a video for the people who actually want to learn something about the Mac and how their Mac works, not for people who want to just do something really cool in Terminal. So, um, first of all, let's go into um, something called Top, and you just type T-O-P, and you can see a few processes that are running on this machine. You can see PID, command, CPU, time, a bunch of other crap. And now, um, like the CPU is the CPU usage. Like I show you, which is what I used to uh, film this, is using 83%. And then top, which is the actual program, which I typed in to view this, is using 4%. Of course, terminal is using a little. And, um,. You can see this is in basically no order whatsoever. Um, so I'm going to show you how to organize these by CPU usage. So let's press Control C to get out of top. Control C. And um, let's press, now we're going to go into, i um, going to type top space dash O space CPU. And now top dash CPU is going to sort the processes by their CPU usage. And this is the most useful of all of all the things, top dash CPU. So now you can see I show you using the most CPU is at the top. Windows server is um six point one. Terminal right there. It, everything keeps on moving around because the CPU keeps on changing. Um, so we just sorted them by CPU, and also sort them by command. Now they're sorted in alphabetical order, the top down. So from USBM, UXD down to like MCXALR. That's in alphabetical order, not as useful. We're just control C to exit once again, and um, also you can. Um, there's a way of viewing all the processes. You want to type PS space AUX. Now hit enter. Now PS AUX will display all the processes once. It'll scroll way off of your terminal. Maybe even, like, go off the screen. You can see this didn't go right there. Sort of by CPU. You can see these are all my processes running. I'll just clear the screen. We can also type PS space AUX space pipe, which is shift backslash. Now, if you don't know where the backslash key is, you don't have to do this feature. But it's PS space AUX space shift backslash, which is a pipe. It looks like a vertical bar right there. Space grep. G-R-E-P, space, and then process name, probably. Let's look for I show you, and this is case sensitive. Don't forget that. It'll show you all the lines containing I show you. See here is users, Alex, applications, I show you, etc. But right here is grep, I show you. That's because grep is actually a program that looks so. Let's type that again, and now we can search for anything we want. Let's search for one. Still going to be a ton of commands there, because we did um, grep space one. It searches for one, and all the all pretty much um, all the lines have one in them somewhere. In all of the number things, so that's that's sort of like useless. If you want to just view all the processes, you do. Instead of grep something, PS space AUX space vertical bar or pipe shift backslash whatever you want to call it space more M O R E. Now just display you the first page of your processes. Then you hit space bar to go to the next page. Then you hit space bar to go to the next page. Now this isn't so useful on such a small terminal, but it's all you can really see. So just keep on going down. And now, after a while, if this gets boring and you can't get to the bottom, you know, just press Q. 
if you're in in this and you've done more and you don't want to keep on hitting space a bunch of times or hold space down, you just press the Q key and you'll quit out of more, which is the PSAUX more. And um, that's how to view the processes. Now let's show you something on top. Another thing is the PID. That's the process ID. That's um, the ID is unique for all the processes. Um, so instead of using the name, like parental controls, you would want to use the um, process ID. Right here you can see parental controls is 888. I can just control C out of this and type kill 888 operation not permitted. And this is because um, root is actually running 888. Let's explain this exactly. Parental controls is 888 right here. Can't see the user running it through top, but if we do PS AUX space grep parental let's just do that there's parental controls right there and you can see it's running on the guest user which is my guest users account um when you're on on a user with parental controls you can go through PSAUX, see the um, process ID for um, parental controls, and kill it. That's unimportant. Um, so you can kill any process running as you. And you can type kill all, space, and then a process name like doc. If I type kill all doc, and I'll show you my doc, and I hit enter on the terminal, it will quit the doc, and everything you have minimized, like I show you, will become maximized again. That's because when I killed the doc, let's just do it again, the doc actually quits, and then Mac OS X detects that it's quit and launches it again. But if you do kill all terminal, just kill terminal. Terminal's gone, not running anymore in the doc. And uh, yeah, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to MacEds at youtube.com slash MacEds101. And goodbye.